Hey, John Cristani here. I'm gonna be going over five ad strategies that feel like cheating. These ad strategies work so well, it feels like cheating, literally. This first ad strategy, I don't know how I came up with it, but I remember going on Facebook and I said, let me try just putting a green dot on my ad. And I've always tested out different random stuff in my ads. You know, I'll try out, I'll say, let me change the question mark to a exclamation part and I'll split test a period, right? I'll split test punctuation, split test all caps, no caps, right? I always try different things, you know, not using proper grammar, misspelling words worked extremely well. And this was when I was advertising bed bugs. Uh, bed bug eradication kits. Seriously, it was a rebuild product. It's called Bedroom Guardian. And all I did for this ad, I put a green dot on the upper right of this ad. At the time, this is back in 2014, I was spending about 2,000 a day on Facebook ads for this market. And I was only making about 50% ROI. So I'd spend 3,000 to make back 1,000 or 800 or some days it might be more. But either way, I wanted to increase that performance because I'm racking up a huge credit card bill. I wanna get more money in the bank. And this green dot increased my click-through rate dramatically because I think made people more likely to stop scrolling through their newsfeed and actually look at my ad and read it. And that's all I need. If somebody reads my full ad, it gives me a chance to get in and get them to click and get deeper and eventually sell the product. This got a huge click-through rate. This ad worked very well. This goes into my second tactic that just feels like cheating, frankly, which is Facebook lookalike audiences. Facebook has the best most advanced artificial intelligence on the planet. They get so much data from people and they're able to figure out what people will buy, what people will click on. And you feed them enough data and they will know exactly who to put your ads in front of. And that's the case with lookalike audiences, which are you upload an email list or a list of phone numbers to Facebook of people who have bought your product in the past or people who have bought a similar product to yours in the past. And Facebook will be able to look at those thousand or so people that you uploaded and they'll match them with real Facebook users and they will be able to say, ah, I see the similarities between these people. And Facebook's algorithm will spot similarities that none of us would be able to know and just behavior patterns and they will be able to put your ads in front of the right people. I started using lookalike audiences back in 2014, actually with this bedroom guardian, the bed bug ad. And as you can see by this, the expanded version of this ad is we were, we crushed it on Facebook. You see this ad was shared thousands of times. This ad uh, made a ton of money, a ton of sales, got a ton of comments and it just worked very well. There's a lot more into this ad that I can go into, you know, just using a news. The page says US Family News, right? Very innocuous. It doesn't feel like you're being sold anything, which you as a marketer, you never want people to feel like they're being sold anything. And it just is very effective. And if you wanna learn more about Facebook advertising or strategies, you can check out, there should be a card somewhere up above my head where you can look at my, my video that I did on how to set up Facebook ads for your business. Now the third strategy that works so well it feels like cheating is urgency. It's the simplest thing to add, almost guaranteed to give you an increase in your advertising. And a lot of affiliates have been known to use fake urgency uh, to get people to do things because it is a tactic that works so well it's almost unfair. You say this deal may not be here tomorrow. I mean, you could add urgency just that way. You don't, if you don't have any urgency, you say, this may not be available tomorrow. Another ad I use that had extreme urgency is this video may be banned. Again, it's kind of an attention grab or it's kind of a pattern interrupt. The first idea is why? Why might this video be banned? And one of the first products I marketed as an affiliate was a ClickBank course in the survival niche called Family Survival Course. And I put up an ad that said, this video may be banned on a Christian video website. It got 
10 times the average click-through rate of typical display advertising. The typical ad on display gets clicked once every thousand times. And my ad was getting clicked once every 30 people who saw the ad, right? So one in every thousand people click a banner ad, one in every 30 people were clicking my banner ads because again, I hit all of these points. And it brings us to another point about marketing is that if you're going into marketing, you need to be, it's an exponential game. Being 50% good at marketing means you're nothing. You need to have the best resources. You need to be in the top 1%, but you make a ton, an obscene amount of money. In my training course, Super Affiliate System, there's a link below in the description, which is the number one income method I recommend. You can sign up for a free training that'll teach you a little bit about my methods for affiliate marketing and help you get to that 0.1% of marketers. And I've taught thousands and thousands and thousands of people and I help them earn their first dollars online. So this brings us to our fourth tactic for doing marketing something that I actually talk about a lot in the super affiliate system, which is copying your competitors' ads, or modeling your ads very closely after your competitors. There's nothing unethical or nothing illegal about copying an ad's verbiage. In fact, it is the recommended way to do advertising, and in, in marketing, there's even a term for it, a control. You always wanna find a control ad, and a control ad is something that works that you model everything else off of. The idea in common society has been this madman image of dudes that do marketing or advertising sitting back on a beanbag chair, kind of smoking a cigar, coming up with harebrained ideas about what's gonna work for marketing. Gentlemen, before you leave, can I just say something? That isn't the reality. The reality of marketing is actually really the research, and the application of stuff that is already working to sell products that are already proven to sell. And copying competitors' ads, it blew my mind when I started doing marketing and I started marketing skincare products and I modeled my ads after other successful skincare marketers' ads, which I go into more in depth in other videos and in my training course, how to find that. But basically, it worked immediately. I got into that market of skincare, which is a really big market. I was scared to get in the market for a long time because it, I knew uh, I, I would meet affiliates that were making millions of dollars a year marketing different skin supplements. And I thought to myself, well, you know, I'm only making 200, 300,000 a year. I'm not good enough to make millions a year. I was wrong. I was totally wrong because the playbook for marketing applies to all different product types. And if you know how to find ads that are working, you can model your own ads after them and you become very effective. And this is how I've literally marketed dozens of different products in dozens of different categories that I have no understanding of and have still been able to be profitable marketing products I have no understanding of because I'm following a playbook. I'm following a system that works. And that brings us to our fifth tactic that is an unfair advantage and will make you a lot of money. It's the same as the Facebook tactic of lookalike audience is except it's with Google. And Google, they call it custom audiences or similar audiences. And these are highly effective. Once again, you upload a list of people who have bought your product or a product similar to the one you're marketing and Google will do the work for you in finding out who those ads should be shown to. Now this doesn't work as well as Facebook. Google is not as advanced, surprisingly, as Facebook in this category, but it's still very effective and I use lots of lookalike audiences and similar audiences to this day in my marketing, which we spend thousands and thousands of dollars on every day. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you got something, if you got some knowledge, if you got your brain spinning, guys, leave a like, leave a hoorah in the comments and make sure to subscribe and smack that notification bell because I'm coming out with some fire content and we're gonna be talking a lot more often now that I got this really cool uh, new office setup. So talk to you soon. Ciao.